Minimax theorem, informal illustration and simple proof. We have a function f of two variables x and y. The statement of the theorem, max with respect to y of the min with respect to x of the function f x y is always less than equal to min of the function with respect to x of the max with respect to y of the function f x y. Everything that follows has been color coded for convenience. Max and min operations are in blue and red and the variables x and y are in green and purple. Soldiers are standing in rank and file. The ranks are the rows and the files are the columns. Therefore, the height of each soldier is a function of rank and file. This is analogous to f of x and y. Let's pick the shortest soldier in each rank. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now let's pick the tallest soldier of the rank wise shortest. That has been coded in blue. But remember that that guy is still the shortest in his own rank. Next, let's pick the tallest soldier in each file. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then from them, we pick the shortest soldier. So we pick the shortest soldier of the file wise tallest. But remember that that guy is still the tallest in his own file. Which of the two is taller and who is shorter? So let's bring in this yellow guy. Being the shortest in his own rank, this guy is obviously shorter than the yellow guy. On the other hand, being the tallest in his own file, this guy is obviously taller than the yellow guy. So now we know which of the two is shorter and who is the taller. We can then remove the yellow guy from the picture. We can generalize our observation to the minimax theorem. So the max of the min of the function is always less than equal to min of the max of the function. Proof. The min of a function is always less than equal to the function. Applying the max on both sides, the max of the min of the function is obviously less than equal to the max of the function. The left hand side is less than equal to the right hand side. In particular, the left hand side must also be less than equal to the min of the right hand side. And this completes the proof of our little theorem the minimax theorem.